Tucked away in the frightening mountains cape of Arunachal Pradesh, Zero Valley is an enticing holiday destination in Northeast India, which magnetizes everyone with its hypnotic natural charm, peppered with sprawling rice fields, quaint villages, and rolling green hills wielded under thick layers of vibrant flora. While the tranquility of this charming little town makes it a soul seeker's paradise, its epitomic scenic beauty also entices innumerable nature lovers and photographers who especially travel here from far and wide to soak their souls in the place's ethereal natural splendor. The place is great for adventure seekers too. Whether one is looking forward to a soul-captivating trekking experience, a jungle camping fun, or wildlife exploration, Zero is not going to leave anyone disappointed. In case one is looking for a camping experience in Zero, the best thing to do here would be to set up a camp near the Pange River Basin. Immersed in deep tranquility of melodious strips of colorful birds and strung with tall trees and wildflowers all around. To satisfy the shopaholics, there are a couple of tribal markets to explore in the valley. Zero's bamboo and cane items and beautiful Abatani handlooms are some of the best in the region and make for a perfect buy. Food that you must try If you are one of those people who loves trying new kinds of food from different places, then you must try the silkworm and rats prepared by the locals of Zero. If bizarre food is a big no-no to you, the place still has a lot to offer. Bamboo chicken is a local dish that must be tried. While you're at it, you may also try their rice beer, which is a specialty of the place. Few sites to venture around are Apatani villages, rice farms, Tarin fish farm, Hapoli market district museum, Zero Puto viewpoint, Doni Polo shrine, and apart from the beauty, the place is also famous for its Zero festival of music a hip and offbeat outdoor music festival held during September towards the end of the monsoon season. It showcases the independent music scene of the country, while also allowing travelers who come from all over to immerse in the various mesmerizing culture and landscape. How to reach Getting to zero is quite an adventure in itself. There are no direct buses, trains, or flights that reach zero. By air the closest airport is the Guwahati International Airport, which connects to almost all major cities of India such as Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, etc. By train From the airport, you can take the train to Naharlagun Railway Station, which is the closest to zero. Alternatively, you could also take a train to Kathal Pukri, which is just a few kilometers away from Naharlagun. By road From either of the train stations, you have to take a bus till zero which is almost a 6-8 to eight hours journey. You could also hire a taxi from Guwahati since the road conditions are good with the NH27 and NH15 connecting them.